My survivor experience was incredible. Uh, I came up a little bit short, which really, really sucked. But um, all in all, it was it was the hardest thing I've ever done, but the most amazing thing I've done too. Um, I it's hard to like even put it into words. Like I can't believe I made it 38 days. I lost 20 pounds, and. Um, I grew so much as a person just having to put up with many different personalities, some pleasant, some not so pleasant. Um, I got through every single challenge and I gave it 100% and so I have no regrets about how I played the game and I feel really proud of the way I played. I just learned like, you know, when you're out, when you're out there and you have nothing, you're totally stripped down and broken. Um, what are like the constants in your life? Like what keeps you going? And for me, it was my faith in God that I, I needed strength for 10 minutes to get through the rain or, um, you know, to get through the hunger that I was experiencing. And just, to, I drew so much strength from that. And also knowing, like reminding myself why I was doing this. And I was doing it to make my family proud and so that when they watch me, you know, they can, they can be happy with, with how, what I represented. And that's basically what I learned. Like, where, where, what do you turn to when you're at your lowest point or when you're the most emotionally broken? And God and my family are the most important things in my life. And I realized that. And on a more, on a lighter topic, I, you know, coming into this, game I was so impatient as a person and I found out here with the people that you have to deal with um, I, I learned so much patience um, from one person in particular just Philip having to live with him for 38 days uh, it just I have to kind of thank him because it taught me to hold my tongue and how to be patient and um, so yeah, I kind of have him to thank for that in a weird way. <laughs> I definitely feel like this has been a life-changing experience and I, I don't want to be the person that goes home and, and this is like fleeting and in two months I'm back to, you know, not appreciating the little things like a shower or food, you know, like I, I remember before this whole experience I'd be at home like, oh, there's nothing in the house to eat, you know? And now it's like, that statement is a whole new meaning. Like there is food, it's just like, not the food that I wanna eat, you know? I wanna go home and like really appreciate the little things and tell my family, each person, how much they mean to me and tell them more than, way more than I did before. And um, so yeah, I definitely think this was life changing and I hope it carries on and on and on. In, in the future. The best time of my game was when I won the immunity challenges. Um, I feel like I those were challenges that I needed to win and um, just like how I played towards the end of the game, I was really proud of myself for coming up big at the end and playing a more strategic game and kind of making it more of like an individual, you know, individual game and playing my own way. The worst part of the game was just the paranoia and the constant mental stress that you're in. Just, it, it like makes you go insane. And honestly, like looking back, it's kind of funny because you're like, did I really, like every time someone had a conversation, you, you would constantly think they were talking about you. And that's something that I so won't miss because it, it really does drive you crazy. I knew I was the biggest threat going into the final tribal council, sitting between Philip and Natalie. It's kind of like a given. I mean, they've done nothing in the game up until this point. So I knew I was the biggest threat and, and I know I had a chance to win. And I, and I obviously Rob knew that. And that's why he worked so hard to get me out of there. And you know, Come, came up a little short. I needed to win the last immunity challenge and I didn't. So it kind of, that was it for me. For me, I think the social game was kind of my strength. I, 
I felt like I genuinely, when I talked to people, I was genuine and I really cared about getting to know about their family outside of the game and I think they felt that from me. Um, and I think I used it well, you know, to advance me farther in the game and that's why I think I was, so, so I was a threat as well to take to the end is because um, people had a connection with me. Even the Zapatera tribe, I didn't talk to them much, but when I did, I felt like they were um, really great conversations and real conversations. And so um, I feel like my social game was good and it ended up hurting me in the end because it made me likable. And obviously that's a threat if you're gonna sit next to that person at the end. But um, I think I played a good social game all around. I want people to see me as someone who played the game hard, gave 100% um, in challenges, and um, someone who was loyal and, I tr and tried to be honest as much as I could. You know, even at the end, when I, I knew Rob would be a really tough competitor to, to beat in the end, I was still planning on taking him with me to the final three because that's the alliance I made since the beginning. And so I want, I hope people respect the fact that I, I stuck to that as much as I could. And I hope they respect the growth that I went through because I think I started off kind of relying on other people rather than playing my own game. But towards the end, I kind of found myself and found my groove. So I hope people can like see that and see how much I grew throughout the entire experience.